Hey, it's Mikhail, and I wanted to talk a bit about how I've recently been absorbing new topics of knowledge by using Obsidian. It's a pretty fantastic free open source knowledge base tool that I think you should check out if you haven't already. Now, I know there's a lot of stuff happening in the note taking and knowledge management space from Notion to Bear and many others, but there are some really key elements to Obsidian I love and so wanted to share a bit. One thing I've especially found lacking in the tools I've been using is the ability to build links between the notes I'm taking and then effectively take a step back to understand the connections as they emerge. Now, this is something that Obsidian, I think, does really well by allowing you to not only tag and folder files, but also build these kind of backlinks with uh, double square brackets. And then there's this inbuilt graph view that you can customize that allows you to explore these connections very intuitively. So here's an example of memoization, which I had to study for this year's advent of code. And I can look at the links I've been building, click into them. I've pinned my graph view so that the adjacent pane will update. If I want to store images, I can, which is very handy for me as a visual learner here, a Fibonacci binary tree uh, memoized. And if I wanted to add a new one, let's say strict evaluation as the opposite of lazy evaluation, I'm going to start typing it here. And that will pop out a new note, which I can then fill in with information I need. There's also a handy set of inbuilt customizations, colorations, display, uh, how the network behaves and everything, which just makes it really smooth and lovely. I've also been using it for other domains and topics, such as societal and technological trends to think about what's out there and how various elements and trends interact. So it's a very versatile thing. Other cool features I especially like in Obsidian are the markdown format of the note vaults, which means that I can choose to save them locally or wherever I prefer, sync them through my own cloud or any service I prefer. And the extensibility of the platform is made all the more exciting by the active community of users and hobby developers. So perhaps give it a try. There's good documentation as well on the website. I just am really happy about the guys working on this and that such a thing exists. It's not quite perfect yet, but it's getting there. And it's been really handy in absorbing big chunks of new knowledge. So what do you think? How do you handle knowledge capture and seeing the bigger picture? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.